Hello everyone and welcome to VMware Basics. My name is Chris Avance and I'm going to be your instructor throughout this entire uh, series. So I designed this series to get you guys prepared for uh, VMware uh, technologies and also VMware certification, which we'll talk about in just a moment. A little bit about myself, I, I started in IT um, several years ago when I was 17 uh, for a company called G Capital. And back then I was doing uh, uh, Windows NT uh, 4 deployments and uh, uh, Cisco routers and switches, all that kind of stuff. And I've been in the network industry and I've seen a lot of things over the last 15, 16 years. And uh, for, I've been teaching for about five of those years, the last five, and uh, pretty much throughout my entire career I've always had kind of a, a, a teaching role in some way or another. But I've got to see this dynamic shift take place from in, in a lot of areas in technology. And one of those areas that's very exciting is virtualization. Um, whenever I started with GE Capital, like I said, I was doing NT4 deployments and deploying these servers for maybe you know file sharing or uh, you know email access or web servers or things like that. Um, and you know, all the way to today. Uh, my last project that involved servers was a geo-redundant data center in South Texas that was completely virtualized from top to bottom. It was designed on you know, a unified computing platform that re pretty much required <laughs> virtualization. I mean, it, it, you know, there's no reason why you wouldn't virtualize everything. And so I, I've been a part and, and got to see that whole shift in the industry. And so I'm very excited whenever I was asked to come back and do another course here on VMware virtualization. This is actually my, I think, 12th program here, um, video series. So very excited to do this one uh, for VMware. Um, I've accumulated about 30 certifications over the years. Most of them are from Cisco Systems. And you might be thinking, uh, well, gee, this isn't a, really a networking course. But I would tell you that there is, in fact, a lot of networking that's involved with virtualization. And so you're going to need to know a lot of those networking concepts. But don't worry. We're going to go over some of those concepts in here, OK? All right, so about this course, this course was designed to provide students with the foundation concepts and knowledge required to manage, support, and deploy VMware-based technologies in an enterprise environment. So VMware actually makes a lot of products. They're all software, but they make a lot of products. And uh, they, they might be a software appliance and things like that. Um, but their core offering, the core product that has made them who they are, is called ESX and ESXi. And so, well, vSphere, right? And so we'll be talking about all of those and what they mean. And, you know, the different flavors. I mean, there's so much about VMware. It's, it's going to be crazy um, what you're going to learn throughout this course, especially if you're new to virtualization in general. So I've got a logo up there, a VMware certified logo. And this is one of the logos that you can earn by completing this class and then taking a test with Pearson View. And I'm going to talk about this in just a moment. A lot of people are very familiar with the VCP certification, which is a professional level uh, certification. Um, but that's a little bit different than the VCA. So we're going to talk about that. Before we get into the course itself, I wanted to kind of go over some things that you should know um, really coming into this class. And, and this is for your own benefit. It's to help you not waste time here, OK? Because even though it's virtualization and server virtualization, the thing is, is that there are a lot of terminology. There's a, it's a lot of moving parts. I'll just put it that way. So you have to know things about servers, about server OSs, um, you know, things like that. Windows Server 2000, whatever. Um, Red Hat, you know, it helps if you know things like CentOS and, and all those little, you know, open source server operating systems as well. It's not required, but it's helpful if you do know them. And then that way you've got some foundation and a variety of operating system types, OK? And so the other thing, though, that is very important is that you know the hardware aspect. So you know what hard drives are and what SCSI cards are and what uh, the difference uh, there is. Also about data sets. So like, are we doing RAID systems and the different levels of RAID systems? All of these things really, from the server and PC side, can be learned from like a CompTIA style A plus or Net plus course. Really, the A plus is designed more for the PC and server hardware. I think there's a Server Plus um, CompTIA certification. So if you have any of those, or if you just have multiple years of experience working for a technology company um, or, or working with computing, uh, uh, you know, different types of computers, that's great. If you've uh, used any other types of virtualization software, um, that's great. Um, 
And as far as networking goes, though, there are some more complex networking, you know, things you're going to learn in this class. And it's good if you have like a CCNA level, you know, understanding or like I said, a CompTIA Net Plus level understanding of networking because, you know, if we're talking about uh, fiber channel networking or fiber channel over Ethernet networking, and we're talking about virtual switches and things like that, you really need to understand why that's important in the first place other than just setting it up. Um, understanding things like VLANs and, and trunks, that's a must. So if you don't have those things, I would invite you to go take and sit the Net Plus course and the A Plus or Server Plus course um, to begin with. And then come back and revisit this. You've got this course now, so you can use it anytime you want. Um, you don't have to have those certifications. All I care about is that you have the experience. That will help you get through this program and not have uh, be left with more questions than answers, so to speak. So with that being said, this is what we're going to be talking about. Starting off with the basics of just things virtual, all things virtual. And uh, VMware 101, working with virtual machines. And then we're going to be talking about VMware vCenter. And that's a centralized component of the, the VMware platform. And we'll be talking about that. Then we'll be talking about permissions, uh, virtual machine storage options, managing a virtual world and the tools you have available to do that, uh, migrations and high availability. Um, those are one of the reasons why we do virtualization in the first place. So we'll definitely be talking about those and VMware uh, utilities and performance uh, monitoring. So. I, the, you know, the great thing is for this class, you've got to have virtual machines that we can work with and, and storage that we can work with. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy to say that there is a place you can go to that's not necessarily the official uh, place for VMware, but that you can get cheap lab access to if you want to copy what we do in this class. Now, I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to go through all of these labs in class and give you the example. But if you do want the hands-on experience, you can go to ESXLab.com, and they can offer you the exact same lab environment that we're going to be using in this class, very reasonable rates. And so um, all of the concepts we're going to be looking at are going to be from the, the ESX Lab uh, topologies. Okay, And so we will demonstrate them all in this class, but it, you know nothing beats hands-on experience. So if you want to do that, ESXLab.com. The other thing is, just, just to throw it out there, just so you know, is that VMware offers a 60-day uh, free trial on their products. That doesn't help you get a pool of servers and network storage and all that kind of stuff that's really required to understand, you know, the, the enterprise level concepts of virtualization. It, you know, it's a lot of people just put it on a, a computer and say, hey, I've got a virtual server. That may work for you. That may be good. But um, there's nothing beats having the actual access to systems that are networked together that have the central storage and all those different concepts you want to learn to get through a program like this, right? So um, it's there at uh, ESXLab.com. Certification. This is a big point for a lot of people in IT is getting certified. Uh, some of you may be here just to understand virtualization in the first place and VMware uh, in the first place, or you might be here to get certified. So I've got some great news and I've got some unfortunate news. And the great news is, is you can complete this program, do the review questions and answers we provide you, and go and sit a, a proctored, not a, a, a supervised exam, and become VMware certified. And that would get you the uh, VCA DV certification, which is a, a VMware associate level certification uh, for data center virtualization. It's a brand new certification track, and the exam is VCA DV. The cost is 120 bucks, that it gives you about 75 minutes on the exam. Uh, for 50 questions. And so uh, that's uh, available to you now, and you don't have to take any authorized training to do that. Now, if you want to become a VCP, a VMware Certified Professional in the Data Center Virtualization Track, you must go and sit an authorized VMware certification course. That's just the rules. Before they will allow you to take the exam, you have to complete that certification. So that's, that's the bad thing. Um, I, not, not that certification, sorry. Before you can sit the VMware VCP professional level certification, you have to sit the authorized VMware training for that. So this course will definitely prepare you for both of those. And so, you know, you should be flying through the class if you go sit the VCP class after taking this class. 
you would do, you know, fantastic. I promise. Um, if you want to just become associate level certified, you could do that just right after you take this class, do the practice Q&A. You'll be good to go. And beyond that, it's up to you. That's, this is what we try to get you through. This is, what, this is what our goal is in this class. So with that being said, let's get started. Let's begin. I'm very much looking forward to it. I hope you are too. And I'll see you in class.